Okay, so we're studying 1 John, and let's just read it together. 1 John 1.1 1, 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and have touched with our hands. Let's just stop right there. He says, that which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon. Okay, why would he repeat himself? saying the same thing over and over again. Well, the English language is quite limited in our word selection to make a point, unlike the Greek and Hebrew languages. So if we look in the original language at that which we have seen with our eyes and that which we have looked upon, these are completely different words used. This seen with our eyes is like a actual perfect tense of the word seen. We see it later when he says, we have seen it and testify to it. So this is what they can actually see with their physical eyes that corroborates their eyewitness testimony. When he talks about which we have looked upon, this is the kind of looking that an apprentice might use with a master or um, an intern. So the purpose of this looked upon is to watch the master with intent to learn. Okay, so these men that are writing these eyewitness accounts walked with Jesus, talked with Jesus, sat down with him, followed him in his teachings and his healings. Okay, they learned by looking upon the master so that they knew how to be the new kind of human that Jesus Christ himself modeled for us to be. I think a really fitting quote that can go with this understanding is, a quick glance at Christ never made a man a Christian, for the eyes of the Christian are fixed and wondering on Jesus Christ. So let's think about if we are just glancing at Christ, maybe just using one verse devotionals quickly in the morning or in the evening something that makes us feel good or are we looking upon Christ through the whole of scripture in depth and in deeper understanding with the spirit working through us in order to understand that truth so this is my challenge for you dig deep prolong your glance at Christ and who he is revealed through the Word of God because by knowing who Christ is in intimacy and depth of understanding we can see and understand the character of the God who wants to redeem his world and who wants constant intimate fellowship with you and with me